Today's a big day for thousands of families in the East County. It is the first day of school in Grossmont Union High School District. News 8's Chris Grow live at Mount Miguel High School in Spring Valley with what everyone needs to know here. And the kids have been arriving there here within the past half hour. The kids, the parents, and now Superintendent Teresa Kemper. I don't know who's more excited. The kids getting back to school, the parents seeing their kids go off to school, or the very superintendent happy to see the kids in school. So, uh, Ms. Kemper, what would you say? Who do you think is more excited? It's a real toss-up. I think, you know, I am super excited. The teachers are excited. Loving having the students back. The kids are excited even though they're containing it but man the parents driving out of the parking lot are <laughs> waving and big smiles they're happy to see their kids back in school I, I know it's been a really tough time for sort of all the stakeholders involved mm -hmm. what has led up to this moment where you feel confident that this is a, success, a successful model to not only keep kids safe but also teachers staff yourself making sure the community stays safe i think a lot of my confidence is based on the fact that we did it last year and it worked we made sure all the protocols, safety protocols were in place. We followed them. Everyone followed them. There was no problem. We had very few cases throughout the year. And so everything leads up to this moment when we can have all students back every day. So I am fully confident that we can keep students safe and provide them the best education possible. How key was that, having a successful model that you could point to, whereas maybe other school districts were simply just still trying to figure it out? It's so important. I would hate to be trying to figure it out right now. We had last year to do it and we did it in phases. So we tried one day a week. It worked well later two days and then four days a week. So we're fully confident because we know it works. And I know a lot of the discussion has been around masks and having the kids still wear masks, teachers, staff as well too, and endorse. What's been the messaging about why it's necessary and why it's a good idea? It's right now. It's the wearing masks indoors that allows us to have all students back every day. Because otherwise, uh, if we still have the distancing requirements in place, we couldn't do it because we don't have enough space. So because of the masks, we can have everyone back. So we are happy to do that. And, and I guess what has been sort of the reaction from the community uh, about that? I know some some people are, are obviously going to point out that, you know, they, they don't feel like it's necessary, but it, it does seem like overwhelmingly a lot of people are supportive based on what you've said previously. I would say basically parents are in favor because it's what gets their kids back in class, and that's what's most important right now. I get it parents' concern, completely understand, but this is what's required in order to have all students back in the classroom together. Okay. Well, Ms. Kemper, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I know you got a busy morning, you got some other schools to visit, yep. but thank you so much for standing thank by with you. us. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good morning. Guys? Yeah, first yeah, day of school, always exciting, Chris. Yeah, she's one excited superintendent, that's for sure. Thanks for that, Chris. Thank you, guys.